Welcome back to River City Live. Well, the perception of tattoos or getting inked has really changed quite a bit over the years. And to say that our Rance Adams decided to uh, get his hands in it, well, that's kind of an understatement. Take a look. Well, tattoos or getting inked used to have this really negative connotation. But over the years, perceptions have changed. And who better to find out from than Jacksonville's most well-known tattoo artist, my man D. Peacock about to go down. Let's talk a little bit about the transition of people's mentality when it comes to getting eaten. It's, it's definitely gotten a lot more accepted now than it was 20 years ago. Do you sure. have any uh, idea or indication why that might be? Well, I think, you know, the way the media and the TV uh, networks have exposed the art form for what it is for real, you know, um, it's kind of taking those old stereotypes yeah and it's kind of crushed them it's just, just showing people what it is you know it's not the CD rebellious type thing anymore it never was Dustin Koenig says people express their personalities with their ink family and friends were completely open to it I know some people you know look at people that are tattooed differently but I, it's just a way of showing kind of who you are as a person what you get represents a lot about someone's you know someone's life or or what they like Back in the day, people would see somebody with a tattoo and freak out. Now it seems like people are freaking out if you don't have at least one or something, doesn't matter how small. How do you see, can you envision what it's going to be like in five, ten years? It's going to be tattooed people, I mean. <laughs> so, uh, to, will it be one day, wow, that guy doesn't have a tattoo. Yeah, it could be, you know, like, who knows how long that will take, but um, the, the amount of people uh, getting tattoos today is, is really uh, high. He explains tattoo artist backgrounds have evolved over the years as well. I think a biggest, the biggest uh, influence in the industry has come from uh, artists from the graphic artist field, uh, fine arts, airbrush artists, uh, illustrators. Um, they've was introduced into this type of art form and as the artists started coming in and doing it they brought with them their knowledge of their art and what's happened is it's it's kind of up the game in the tattoo industry how patrons choose their ink has evolved too 20 years ago people got stuff off the walls you know it was um, they'd come into a typical tattoo shop would be you'd walk in you would see flash art up and down the walls and people would browse around find things that they connected with and that's what they would get and that's you know it's a lot different nowadays people are um you know they're really searching themselves and their heritage and do you find that there's like a particular pa place that they like to use as a reference uh <laughs> funny you say that I would say Pinterest what? Uh, <laughs> and when it comes to getting inked age is irrelevant I'm surprised at the, the amount of older people that's been getting tattooed really um, it's real popular these days and uh, I've always said you know tattoos don't have an age you know if you want a tattoo come get a tattoo I've been asked a lot you know what's the oldest person you've ever tattooed well that would be this lady that was 70 years old are you serious? Came in on her birthday and wanted a portrait of Elvis Presley. I still feel the same. Doesn't seem like it's going to change me too much. Thanks for spending some time with me, D. <laughs> Makes you want one, doesn't it? Can I see yours again? It does. You didn't, that, you didn't even flinch or anything. No, he's got a new machine. The technology has improved so much that anybody can go in. You won't really feel any pain. You're not screaming on the inside. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now, Dee is, <laughs> Dee is Inc., some of the biggest names in the music industry, from members of Linkin Park to Megadeth to one of my rock idols, LeJohn Witherspoon from Seven Dust. He's living my dream. I wanted to be a, a metal singer, but uh, the best part of his job is meeting people and hearing unique stories. He's like this new age bartender. So instead yeah. of waking up with a hangover, you wake up with a tangible expression of your personality. Forever. <laughs> and that, it, was, that, that was a cool story. Yes. Oh, and they also do piercings and henna tattoos, which I'm going to try to talk Miss Elizabeth into going with. And uh, we'll be talking about that later. So if you guys want to check out their shop, visit their site, peacockstattoo.com. All right. Good. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. We'll be back.